You guys only answered eight. I think you could have answered a bit more. I, you guys are amazing. I love this community. I seriously do. I do not want to lose this community. Hey, hi, Kiro's here. So we're going to talk about this Q and a, and, um, I had to record this about three times. Well, technically once on stream, we talked about it together, everyone. So thank you so much for your feedback. And, uh, by the way, before we get started, a huge shout out to next time for even responding next on Nat games, Geostar, whoever, um, I mean, look at TF2, right? TF2 hasn't had a response from Valve in years. So that's a plus, I guess, right? So, and I, in this video might rub you the wrong way. So, cause these are, these are my own personal feelings on it. And I just want to say before we get started, thank you guys for this community. Thank you so much for allowing me to grow as a content creator. Thank you so much for allowing me to share in the journey um, with you guys. I love Blue Archive. I've always loved it. I've played the Japanese release. I've, uh, I've been looking forward to it before it even came out in the Japanese release. And, um, and then I'm taking this journey just purely with global with, with everyone. So, um, if you do enjoy the game, I highly suggest you keep playing the game, but let's, let's go through these questions together. First question we have up on the screen. This is a two part question. Could future content come with changes like the game development department scenario had? Before I answer this question, I'd like to apologize to the global players who care and love the game uh, for the issue that was brought by a lot of disappointment. We had self-communion. I don't even know what that means. Within the dev team regarding the Alice Im Yes, it's Alice. Alice. Image. Both dev team and Nexon are reviewing the 2020 contents to see if there's any possibilities of any major similar issues that will let players down and prevent them. There's two parts to this question, so we'll finish the second part. But first off, the biggest thing they could do right here is just give us a roadmap. Give us a roadmap of what you may change and allow people to make that choice early. So if people are not comfortable with those changes, it is what it is. By the way, also, you know, almost every game gets censored at some point somewhere in the world. Like all my Final Fantasy games I've loved since Final Fantasy 1 to 14 have been censored in some way. Do I still love them? Yes, I do. First of all, we have finished reviewing the Q1 update up to the head is perfect or the head prefect needs a break, which by the way, guys, is not very far. Um, if we were to look at the banners, I believe it's the second summer banner, which involves Hina, which so that's good. Summer Hina is not getting um, nerfed at all. I don't think anything in, in catching Neverland is going to get nerfed. The biggest question on the board is, is the bunny event going to get nerfed, right? I don't even know. Ooh, it makes me angry thinking about it. Anyways, um, and we confirm there's no issues regarding the censorship of a lot of players uh, have had uh, to be able to provide unchanged content to the global service. I promise that we'll be providing the same original content without any changes. Cool. Thanks. Also, we'll share the results of the review and the contents coming after quarter one. And we will be uh, doing our best to deliver uh, original contents of Blue Archive in all, all of it intact. So let's talk about that real quick. Um, I'm, I'm going to give you guys my feelings on it. I read everyone's comments. If you guys have been following us in the community and Discord on the live streams. I do not, I do not agree with censorship. But so in the case of Alice, that was clear censorship. But sometimes censorship is hard to prove as well, right? Um, because every these teams are diverse, right? Like you have a you have a North American team, you have a Europe team, you have an Australia team, and then you have artists for all of those as well, too. Um, so I I I do agree that I was like, I don't want there to be any censorship, guys. It makes me angry. It really does. It it does. But at the end of the day, since they have not removed any students from, for me, I'm going to give you my personal opinions. If they were to straight remove some bunny girls and, and some students right from the game and, and straight torpedo out like an entire storyline, that would probably be it for me. Right. And then we'd probably, you know, this channel would probably be no more, but, um, 
I get what they have to do for some countries because here's the thing. I love Blue Archive so much that I do want it enjoyed by as many people as possible because that makes that makes the lives of uh, free to play players even easier. Let's move on to the next question. What is Eris's official English name? Alice. Alice, 100%. I don't care what they said. It's Alice. 100%. Uh, question number three. Will there be any changes to future gotcha rotations? There won't be any changes to the new student pickup schedules, but the main scenario and events. However, as the global service has pickups every two weeks and we're in an uh, accelerated schedule, um, there might be some alterations in it. I think we've already seen that where we got Aru way earlier, right? And we have double banners, which double banners are actually kind of a good thing, guys. Um, as long as they're giving us primo or uh, pyrozeni i almost said primo gems i almost regressed all the way back to genshin oh uh as long as they're giving us pyrozeni to kind of like compensate that a little bit right uh will there be any changes to rotations uh some of the updates uh require changes yeah right so we've seen that right obviously uh they're going through a review process to make sure there's no disruptions in service balances and stuff like that I mean, they're going to have to do something. I think they're going to have to actually remove some banners, right? Like, Hifumi's banner, what are they going to do? They're going to bring Bin, uh, Binna back for an odd week between uh, be between Cheese that we have now, depending on where you're watching this video, and Hero coming out. I don't... Uh... I don't see I don't see that happening. I, I think they would have to remove it or or they would have to move it to a later date. Which I'm by the way, next time, I'm okay with you moving Hifumi. I'm serious. As long as you put Koharu and Azusa together. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh quarter uh question four. Update plans for the students without recollection lobbies. I apologize that there are still many students without a proper recollection lobby. It's taking us a while because the lobbies take the most preparation and time. We are constantly releasing updates in Japan. We will update the global version as quickly as possible. This is something we could do uh, can, that can be updated without having an impact on the gotcha rotation. Even more concrete answer, we're planning to add recollection lobbies, three students in quarter one. I like to see that accelerate. I think they could just automatically almost release, as long as the students are released in global, they should just go ahead and release all of them. If it's in the Japanese version, go ahead and release it. It has no impact on gameplay. Just no impact. I, I think I think they can speed that up, in my opinion. Uh, question. We missed the question. Oh no. Go back. Hold on, last question. Question number five. What is the reason for the translation script errors uh during uh the updates? If you guys have seen that uh Mutsuki, you know, image that's flowing around Reddit and stuff like that, I'll try and flash it on the screen. Maybe I can find it. Um if you guys have seen that. You know that there's um, some issues. Also, I don't know why my camera's here. We can, we can move my camera. Why? Why did no one? Why did no one in chat tell me that? Anyways, um, now you can better see it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Previous content. This is future content now. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. It. I've already recorded this three times. We're not doing it again. We fixed previously uncaught uh, translation errors, and we will step up the review process. Cool. Feel free to call me. I'll help you. Uh, question number six, collaboration plans. Um, so I did allude to this in one of my videos that sometimes I've played a lot of other gotcha games and sometimes you don't get all the collabs that they get in other regions due to contractual agreements. Although it's not confirmed yet, we're planning to bring the Miku collaboration that was in Japan to the global service. I'd be, um, I'd be very surprised if it still actually happens because that is very pricey. Uh, collaborations that would affect the gotcha rotation would be hard to make global exclusive. So we're actively looking for collaborations, which will not affect the pickups. Great. Cool. I would totally love for you guys to do a, uh, blue archive anime with, uh, like arc Knights anime collaboration or something. I would love you. That'd be amazing. Uh, question number seven, any plans for the BA anime? Oh, speaking of that, it's like, I almost read these questions before. Uh, mixed media is one of the long-term goals that we have, depending on the IP, yada, yada, yada. Um, I think a BA anime would be the most complicated and time-consuming project. However, if we keep supporting and loving Blue Archive, I can definitely see that happening. Which, by the way, the ratings of Blue Archive in Japan are still really good. And I, it's not like a top money maker, but it, it's doing pretty good still in the global market. 
I, I think they need to step up their game. I think Global needs to catch up to the Japanese and they need to revamp a lot of things from PvP to maybe collaboration uh, raids where revamp the whole guild, put some other events in there for us to actually want to play your game. Make it so that we can um, manual missions for additional drop rates or something like that, right? Like make it so we want to play. And that's what a lot of games are doing, right? Due to the success of other gacha games. Any possibilities of selling various uh, merch globally, like a soundtrack or an art book? Nothing's confirmed yet, but we're actively discussing uh, whether companies have shown blah, 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 blah. We will make to share any details as soon as we know about them. Cool. Awesome. I love merch. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, and then finally, you've sent us a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah, we can only answer. You, you guys only answered eight. I think you could have answered a bit more. Happy New Year as well. Okay, so let me... Let's, let's shift back to the other screen here. Let me give you my two cents, guys. Um, I'm, I am happy that they responded. And, and they should be as um, engaging as possible if they want this to be a successful IP. And um, we know that in the past that... Um, we won't say any names, but we know in the past that there's been some games that have died or some sketchiness that has happened. So... so Stay ahead of it, guys. Hire a few more people. Get rid of intern uh, Kuhn off your marketing team and maybe hire a few actual you know, community managers or maybe ha hire a single community manager and maybe come work with some of us and we can help you. I've been trying to get a hold of you for, for months. Anyways. <sighs> More of the story. If you're really hurting about the censorship, which I totally understand, always be... Always pay with your wallet. You know what I mean? If you're not agreeing with the way things are working, don't don't swipe. Don't don't invest. Don't do whatever you want to do, right? If you're not enjoying the game, I totally get it too. Maybe we'll play another game that you enjoy on this channel. We got a bunch of other games on the way. Um, but I would love to still have this journey with you guys. I, I, I still think Blue Archive is going to be an amazing IP. And I think it's I think it's gonna have its time in the sun. I really do. I think there's gonna be some really cool stuff that happens this this year in the Japanese version that's really gonna make us excited about the game. But we will see. We will see. Uh, that's those those are my honest opinions on it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, leave your comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. Come join us in the Discord. Come talk to me on Twitch, which I'm not always playing this game, but I'm always playing some game, and I'm always down to talk. Um, I do the YouTube live streams as well, too. I've got some, uh, we got some exclusive videos coming out, uh, soon and lots of other games on the agenda. So, uh, I, you guys are amazing. I love this community. I seriously do. I do not want to lose this community. I do not want to lose this community. Seriously. Like it almost brings me to tears. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>